Hello everybody and welcome. Here we are back in the studio in Spain uh, and I've just had a fantastic time in the USA. I've been over in um, New York, Connecticut. I've been up with Guy Wolf. I went to visit my, um, my niece up in Glastonbury and and then we went to, where do we go to? Um, I think it was called Middletown, where the, and I'm wearing their apron, I had to do a little demo there for the Wesleyan, the Wesleyan Potters. And um, that was great fun, we enjoyed that, we had a good evening, 20, 25 people, and we did some demonstrating and had a bit of, did a bit of larking around. <laughs> we weren't too serious, were we? Anyway, hi to all you guys up there in the Wesley and Potters group. Um, I then, after that, went down to North Carolina, down to Ashborough, where there was a pottery conference that was in full swing down there for two or three days. That was really good. It was really good to rub shoulders with other potters down there. Ben Owen the third, and uh, oh, Chris Luther, and who else? Um, Oh yes, uh, Mark Hewitt and all those potters down there from um, Seagrove. Hi to all the Seagrove potters. So it was great to be there. I thought everyone was very, they were very nice, very hospitable, very sincere, and it was just nice to be amongst a gathering of of other potters, all of us together there, learning. And we had uh, we had Phil Rogers on the conference with us there, and Mark Farris, I think he was called, and this guy's name gets me. Sorry, <laughs> Allegheny Mose. <laughs> Hope I got that right. Anyway, hi to you all. Right, without further ado, let's get down on the wheel where the clay is, and I've got a lump of clay there. I've got to see if I can remember how to how to throw throw this stuff. Well, as you know, I was up there with Guy Wolf, and Guy taught me. What's that noise? Excuse me, man. I have a little technical problem. Guy Wolf was teaching me the art of making big pots. Hi to you, Guy, by the way. And I've got some tools here that he. We did a little tool swap, which was also, also always a very nice thing to do amongst us potters, isn't it? We, we have our own particular tools, so I gave him a couple of my tools and he gave me a couple of his. And, um, oh yeah, and also hi to Ben up there. Ben, Ben Wolf. We had a nice time, so anyway, let's get on to the clay here. Back on the old kit wheel, I've been using these electric wheels. Now this is a lump of clay that's about four, four or more kilos. I'm trying to remember some of the things that Guy, Guy taught me. certain tricks for making bigger pots that I'm just going to check the thickness of the base always a good idea Oops. I've been a bit enthusiastic there might be a bit on the thin side but I'm not going to try and make a flower pot as such. It's 
spread your water around nicely. I don't want to get my head in the way. Seems that my fingernails have grown since I've been in America. Must be all that good food. One thing I found strange about America, it's funny when you visit a, another country, you find certain things are different. I find there all the light switches, they turn, they're down like that, and to turn them on, you flick them up. Whereas here, over here in Europe, all the light switches are, are up, and to turn them on, you flick them down. Oh well. It's all what you're used to, isn't it, I suppose? So, let's get this clay up. Guy, this is up for you. Let's get it up there, boy. God, look at that. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Check we're in the picture. Oh, here we are. Oh, getting this Wesleyan Potter's apron dirty. Right. Where are we going from here? Well, we've got ourselves a reasonable cylinder. I'm going to try using one of these tools that Guy gave me. See how I do. Oops. See how I do. Whoa. Gonna to have to get used to that fella. Well, let's collar him in here at the top. See if we can pull out a bit of a, a bit of a neck up here. Every time you use a new tool, you have to get used to it. And I'm kind of used to my old tools. So, I'm just going to revert. Good to feel that clay. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. De -de 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 -de. Always get off your wheel, have a look at what you're doing. Use your mirror as well, of course. Well. Let's give that a little, little chamois leather there. So good to be back on the wheel. 
Hey, maybe you guys need to get back on your wheels. <laughs> maybe been leave it, leaving it too long like me. Been out of the studio. All right. Well, anybody got a wire? A cutting wire. Huh. No cutting wires. Here's one. So we're going to cut him off. And Basically, you see a cylindrical shape, which um, I'll just lower the camera a bit so you can just get a sideways view of it. Okay, there she is. Oops. There she is. Right. I'm gonna get her off the wheel. So drying our hands a little bit on our apron or preferably not on your apron too much but on a separate piece of towel clasp it like that and just that's it put him down there eh, not too bad it'll do for a it'll do for a start so Simon Leach here back in the studio Thanks for joining me. Keep practicing. And one more thing, you can do something for me if you want to help me. Won't cost you any money. Keep clicking. Thank you. See you in the next clip.